Hey, my name is Matt and welcome to the next lesson in our Phrase Academy course. This is an exciting lesson because we finally get to dive into the AI. It's going to be really exciting. You're going to learn a lot. Now, in the previous lessons, we talked about the research components of Phrase and the outline and the optimization. If you've missed any of those, in the description below, there's a link. Definitely check it out. You can watch any of them at your leisure. There's a lot of value in them. Don't miss out. Don't not watch them. Now, let's talk about the Phrase AI. I've mentioned before how important it is to understand that phrase is not an AI tool. It's an SEO tool. SEO tool first, AI tool second. It's designed to write content that's gonna rank higher on Google. It's designed to help you do that. So keep that in mind because you'll come into phrase with different expectations and not understand how to properly get the most value out of phrase. Now, a couple different ways you can interact with the AI in phrase. The first and most common way that you're probably familiar with is the inline AI write for me button. It's so a button down here that says, and there's a shortcut for it, command enter. And what it's gonna do when you click it is it's going to write based on a couple different factors. It takes in different things and looks at those things and then completes the thought or writes a paragraph based on what it's already seen. So there's a look back. If you had your cursor here and you hit the write for me button, it's gonna look back up to 3000 characters unless you've used some hash marks to stop the look back. Now that's an advanced concept beyond the scope of this course, but there's different ways you can tweak what the AI is looking at. So the first is a look back and then it also takes into account the title and it also takes into account the background section in the freeform AI writer. Very powerful tool, takes a little bit to understand, but once you understand it, it's very powerful. The other way you can interact with the AI is in this research component. So if you find a heading that you like, like how does SEO work, you can put your cursor down and click the write about this button and then phrase is gonna use the concepts in here to rewrite this and write about this, giving you unique output. Let's see what happens. Awesome, okay, so here's our output. Search engines are essentially libraries pulling up books, web pages to answer your queries. They do this by crawling the internet, going from site to website, collecting information about those sites, putting it in an index. Think of the index like the Dewey Decimal System. That's what this search engine land talked about, but it's, written in, it's rewritten it in a unique way that's added to it, taken a little bit away. And if you don't like the output, you can hit Control Shift Z if you're on a PC and just regenerate the output. So that's another way to interact with the AI. Now we've also talked about using the AI in the outline functionality. I'm not gonna repeat that. You can look at that in the last lesson. The other place to use the AI, and this is my favorite place, is the, the AI write functionality, the custom templates. Click on the community tab right here. And then these are all the different community templates that authors like myself have created. In this up here, the search box, type in the letters in brackets, RT. You're gonna find nearly two dozen templates I've created. And these are very powerful templates. I wanna just show you how I would write this article as an example, using these templates. Again, think of phrase as a toolbox. Some situations you're gonna use AI templates. Some situations you're gonna use your factual research from the SERP. Some situations will use the, the SERP rewriting in the outline functionality. A lot of different ways to write your article. Let me show you one of those ways right now. So first we need an intro. So RT in brackets, we're in the AI write section community, filtered by RT. Let's type an intro generator. Now, what you need for this, and here's the instructions. For some of these templates, I'll have a link to a YouTube video up here. It says link, anything with the link and then ranking tactics that will take you to a YouTube video to watch about how to get more value out of this template, how to best use it. Definitely check that out if you're struggling. This one's a really easy one. It only has one input is the title, the H1. And what is SEO? Leave the creativity at one. This is a very important thing in phrase. Don't mess with the creativity. If the template says leave it at one, leave it at one. Run template and let's see what we get. Okay, so we have our intro right here. We can paste this in. And you'll usually have an introduction hook. We delete that part, an introduction, transition, and thesis. We just delete that part. And now we have a really cool intro. You can pause the video and read that if you want to. This was already generated using the write about this in the research functionality of phrase. Now let's build these out really quickly. Why is SEO important? We'll go back and we're gonna type in paragraphs and you can, I really encourage you to explore the RT templates on here. There's a lot of them for different use cases. Definitely explore them because they're all written from the perspective of writing content to rank higher on Google. So paragraphs, there's a couple different ones in here. I want to do paragraphs from scratch alternative version. Again, there's a video that will explain how to use these, but we're going to put in our H2 right here, our subconcept. 
And then we need our H1, our high level concept right here. Leave the creativity at one and let's run the template. All right, why is SEO important? SEO stands for search engine optimization and it refers to the practice of improving your website's visibility in search engines. When someone searches for a topic related to your business, they expect to see your website listed near the top of the SERPs. This is especially true for local businesses who rely heavily on online reviews to drive sales. According to the study collected by Bright Local, 92% of consumers trust online reviews just as much as personal recommendations. So if you wanna grow your business, you need to optimize your website for search engines. There's two main types of SEO, organic and paid. Organic focuses on building relationships, paid invo involves spending money to boost your rankings. Okay, and we'll delete this little last bit right here. So we have, that's what, about 158, 150 words that we just built out for this particular heading. And if you don't like it, what's cool is you just click load more. I'll usually click it three times and get three different generations and then pick the one that I like the most. Now let's do the next heading. This is how can I learn SEO? So I did three generations here and I liked the third generation. So we're gonna take that. And what's cool is you don't have to take the entire thing. So I'm not taking the intro right here. I'm just gonna take the last three paragraphs. You just click the paragraphs that you want. We've brought it in. So there are th uh, several different methods for learning SEO, including online courses, books, blogs, videos. One of the easiest ways is to read articles written by experts, et cetera, et cetera. Very easy way to generate content. Now, I probably have a, another heading here. I just pulled in some different headings from the SERP, mobile friendliness. So this is not really in any particular order, but these are some different ways to optimize your site for SEO. So let's put some of this stuff in here. What is SEO mobile friendliness? I would probably change the title here to how to improve your website's SEO. All right, and run it. In that way, so we've tweaked it, even though the article's called What is SEO? We've tweaked it because we're, you wanna intelligently use these templates. We're using these templates for specific purposes. And for this one, the main concept, the main heading for this one would be like, what are some ways we can improve our site's SEO? And the first is make it mobile responsive or mobile friendly. So one of the biggest factors affecting whether or not someone visits your website is whether or not they can view it on their smartphone. If your device does not load properly on mobile devices, then it's gonna be difficult for visitors to engage with your content. This is great. I think this is probably all on point. And look at the bottom. It's also worth noting that Google now considers mobile friendliness to be a ranking factor. So if you haven't already done so, it's time to optimize your website for mobile devices. Fantastic, fantastic output. Now page speed. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different right here. We've been using this paragraphs from scratch template. I wanna show you something else now. There's another template called paragraphs from keyword. And this is where you can actually put in SEO focused keywords into the article or into the template and have it write output around those keywords and often using those keywords. So page speed, Let's talk about optimized images. Let's talk about cache, right? I'm gonna cache your data. Oh, gzip, gzip, gzip. Gzip your data, right? Okay, so those are three keywords. Those are relevant to page speed. So let's put in our high level concept, how to improve your website's SEO. One to three keywords about this. Oh, we need the sub concepts. The sub concept is improve your site's page speed in the keywords. So optimize images, cache, and then gzip. Or we can actually say compress. Let's say compress. Okay. See what we get. I'll do three generations here. The first one says, page speed matters because Google uses it to rank websites. If your page loads slowly, Google may not be able to crawl them quickly enough to index them properly. This means your content won't appear in search engines when users type in relevant queries. The solution is simple. Use tools to compress images, reduce file sizes, and remove unnecessary code. These tools help you save bandwidth, improve loading times, and boost your rankings. That's great. It's a little short, but that's great. That used what we were talking about, what we, the keywords we wanted to talk about. Let's look at the next ones. Page speed matters because Google uses it as a ranking factor. So if your page loads slowly, your search rankings will suffer. To improve your site's page speed, use tools like Gmetrics to analyze your site's performance, then fix problems and implement optimizations. Wow, the most important optimization step is optimizing images. Let's just paste this in and read it. Let's delete the intro. This includes compressing them using tools like TinyPNG, I love that tool by the way, and caching them, saving copies of static files. Next, consider implementing a compression for CSS. This talked about those three keywords, optimizing your images, 
compressing your data, caching your files, caching your JavaScript or CSS, phenomenal. So what you can do is you can go into your optimize section over here and pull in keywords that you want to then, long tails, that you want to then talk about in, in relation to this page speed heading and start optimizing your article for that relevance. Let's do search intent. All right, I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Search intent, let's try this too. I don't know what keywords to talk about actually for this. I can't think of any off the top of my head. So let's actually go to paragraph from scratch, improve, write to answer the user's search intent, how to improve your website's SEO. Okay. All right, so this is what we got. We'll paste this in. Let's delete that first one. When users type in a query into a search box, they're looking for information. They expect to find answers quickly and easily. The faster they can find those answers, the happier they are. That's where you come in. You need to optimize your content so that it appears at the top of the search results. And the better you rank, the more visitors you'll attract. To achieve this goal, you must answer the question that searchers ask themselves when they enter a query into the search engine. This is called the search intent behind the keyword. Here's an example. Wow, this is really good. Sometimes the AI even amazes me a little bit. Let's do the last one. Let's do backlinks and then we'll call it a day. We'll do a conclusion too. Backlinks, get more backlinks. And this is just quick and dirty using those paragraphs from scratch templates. There's a lot of different ways you can, a lot of different templates you can use for generating your output. This is just one of those ways. Wow, this is really good off the bat. Backlinks are important because they help search engines find your site. Search engine optimization is the process of getting backlinks to improve your rankings. To get more backlinks, you need to create content that attracts links from authoritative sites or buy links, right? <laughs> this means writing quality articles that include relevant keywords and phrases, then submit those articles to blogs or forums where your target audience hangs out, et cetera, et cetera. Fantastic. Let's do a conclusion. So we're in our right, the RT templates. We'll do conclusion generator. We'll do the advanced version. There's a, an explanation, there's a link to a video that I explain the difference between the advanced and the basic version, but let's, what is SEO and how to improve your site's SEO? There we go. Conclusion, fantastic. So this is, a, you get a longer output with this. Having more content with relevant uh, relevant words, relevant content can be a help, a boost in your ranking. So in conclusion, SEO is a process of improving the visibility of your website within Google and other major search engines. This means that you want to make your website appear high in the rankings whenever someone searches for keywords related to your products or services. And it talks about some different ways you can do that. And again, if you don't like the output, you can load more. So a lot of different tools in the AI toolbox of phrase. It's a lot of fun to use. I love, <laughs> it never gets old. I love using the AI. If you have any questions about this or anything in any of these different lessons, go to the official phrase Facebook group. I really encourage you to do that. You'll get all your questions answered there. And if you want more, if you're just itching to learn more about phrase, in the description below, check out my phrase beginner to master course over seven hours of content of added value that you can use to start creating content that's designed to rank higher on Google. Hope you've liked this series. I don't know if there'll be any more lessons, but if so, there'll be some bonus lessons later. Thank you for watching and I hope to talk to you soon.